Hello guys and welcome back to our channel. Today, we've got a thrilling countdown that's bound to ignite your excitement. Get ready to dive into the fantastical realm of Isekai as we unveil the top 10 Isekai anime with an overpowered main character who surprises everyone with his powers. Brace yourselves for an epic journey filled with jaw-dropping abilities, unexpected twists, and unparalleled excitement. If you're a fan of overpowered protagonists and crave those mind-blowing moments, you're in for a treat. But before we jump into the list, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our anime adventures. Without further ado, let's embark on this anime journey together. The world's finest assassin gets reincarnated in another world as an aristocrat. The world's finest assassin had made a lifelong commitment to the organization that had raised him. Despite his commitment, the same organization takes action to silence him, eventually leading to his death. Drowning in frustration and regrets he can no longer hide, he finds himself in an audience with a goddess drawn to his unique abilities. The goddess promises him reincarnation into a glorious world of swords and magic in order for him to complete a critical mission. Slay the world's hero and prevent its destruction. Accepting the goddess wish, he is reborn as Lug Tuatha Day, the son of a noble line of assassins who serve the Alvin Kingdom. Lug learns new murder techniques from his father, which are markedly different from the cold-blooded and callous killing approach he used to practice. Furthermore, his other talents blossom, allowing him to make new friends and acquaintances. Nonetheless, Lug recognizes that his efforts are insufficient, for defeating a massive enemy like the hero requires perfection. In another world with my smartphone, God unintentionally strikes down Tui Mochizuki with a stray bolt of lightning. As an atonement, God grants him one wish and the opportunity to live again in a magnificent fantasy realm. Tuya gladly accepts the offer and wishes simply to have his smartphone with him as he embarks on his voyage into this mystery planet. Starting again in this new world, Tuya discovers that it is full of magic, which he enjoys, as well as gorgeous girls who want his attention. These girls, the twins Linz and Elsa Silhueska, Yunina Ernia Belfast, Lean, and Ye Kokono, provide Tunya with endless sexual disappointments, as well as company, while he discovers the secrets of this new realm. The Reincarnation of the Strongest Exorcist in Another World Despite being the strongest exorcist, Hariyoshi Kuga craved even more power, which led to his death at the hands of those who invite his strength. As he takes his final breath, he casts a magic that permits him to reincarnate and vows to grow more cunning, thinking that his efforts would be valuable in his next life. Hariyoshi is soon resurrected in another planet as Seika Lamprog, the illegitimate son of a noble family that values magic. His new family, however, generally ignores him because of his pedigree and lack of magic. Nonetheless, the unconcerned Sika uses his previous life experience to gain countless vital allies. As he continues to push the boundaries of his talents, Sika must be mindful of the consequences of his past mistakes and avoid repeating them. I got a cheat skill in another world and became unrivaled in the real world too. Yui Tenju has always been the target of hate and contempt from those around him, including his parents. To make matters worse, Yui's grandfather, the only person who has ever shown him affection, died unexpectedly, leaving him completely alone. Despite many obstacles, Yui does his best to be kind to those in need, but even the most good-natured people can only take so much abuse. When he approaches his breaking point, a ray of hope arrives in the form of a concealed door in his bathroom. This door grants him two-way entry to an abandoned house in another realm, where he immediately obtains game-like attributes and skills. Furthermore, the mansion originally belonged to a sage, giving Yuya access to incredible weapons, equipment, and crops with astonishing powers. With these unexpected blessings, the once undesirable Yuya may finally attain his full potential and become invincible. The Eminence in Shadow 
Minoru Keijinu has always wanted to be as powerful as possible, which has prompted him to engage in many forms of intense training. This wish, however, is not motivated by a desire to be recognized by others. Rather, Minoru does everything possible to fit in with the crowd. So while pretending to be an ordinary student during the day, he armed himself with a crowbar and viciously terrorizes local biker gangs at night. Minoru's ambitions, however, appear to be dashed when he is involved in a truck accident. In his closing hours, he laments his powerlessness, stating that no matter how hard he trained, he could not overcome his human limitations. Instead of dying, Minoru awakens as Sid, the second child of the noble Kajinu family, in a world where magic is ubiquitous. With the authority he craved finally within reach, he adopts the alias Shadow and forms Shadow Garden, a group whose primary aim is to oppose the enigmatic cult of Diabolos, an organization constructed from Sid's imagination. However, as Shadow Garden increases in size and power, it becomes clear that the cult of Diablos isn't as fictional as Sid had hoped. Didn't I say to make my abilities average in the next life? Misato Kurihara has stood out from others for most of her life due to her extraordinary character, and she has lived without the delight of close friends or the experience of a regular life. However, following an unexpected death, she was transferred to a divine realm to be reincarnated, and allowed one further wish. Thinking about the everyday life she had always desired, she wished to be born as a normal person, with powers appropriate for the world she would resurrect in. Reborn as Adele von Asham, the daughter of a nobility, she possesses magical abilities much beyond what one would consider typical. Still determined to live the life she desired, she leaves her home and enrolls at a hunter school in a distant kingdom under the identity Mile. However, no matter how hard she tries to hide her overwhelming talent, she will find it difficult to achieve her goal, especially when confronted with the strange scenarios that arise. Skeleton Knight in Another World after falling asleep while playing an online game, a guy awakens to find himself transported to the game's universe as his in-game character, Ark. He quickly adjusts to his new surroundings, but soon realizes he is utilizing the skeleton avatar he chose when creating his persona, forcing him to hide his face to escape unwanted attention. Ark travels to the adjacent castle town of Luviert, seeking to become an adventurer and do tasks for money. With his superhuman talents, Ark embarks on a fanciful trip, exploring new territory, looting creatures, and assisting people in delicate situations. However, his seemingly innocuous activities may eventually land him in a growing large-scale conflict that may forever change the course of the kingdom. So I'm a spider, so what? The day is as typical as it can be in high school, with kids going about their daily routines until an enormous disaster strikes the school, murdering everyone in its path. A small group of students are fortunate enough to be reincarnated into another world as aristocrats, princes, and other people with distinguished origins, thanks to what appears to be a miracle. One girl, however, is not as fortunate. After being resurrected as the weakest spider, she is instantly confronted with the difficulties of her predicament. Nonetheless, she must persevere in the face of multiple threats to her life. Discovering that her new world features an RPG-style structure, she does her best to seek prey and kill monsters in order to level up and progress. As she becomes stronger, she believes that one day her efforts will be recognized and she will be given a better life. My instant death ability is so overpowered. Yajiri Taka 2 awakens to total devastation and carnage while on a school trip, only to learn that everyone in his class has been transported to another world. He had managed to sleep through the entire adventure, losing out on the gift, which had been given upon the others by a mysterious sage who seemed to transport them. Even worse, his buddies abandoned him and another classmate, leaving them as bait to distract a nearby dragon. Although he is not very disturbed by the prospect of death, he grudgingly decides to safeguard his soul buddy. After all, a level 1000 monster has no chance against his secret ability to cause instant death with a single thought, if he can remain awake long enough to consider using it. 
reincarnated as a sword. A nameless sword awakens to learn that he has been reincarnated from his previous existence as a human. He explores across this new universe with his telekinetic powers, acquiring a variety of skills and abilities. When the sword comes across a jungle full of creatures, he encounters a young girl fleeing from a beast. Grabbing the sword, the girl effortlessly defeats the creature. After introducing herself as Fran, she gives the sword the name Shishu and formally becomes its wielder. The two set out to be adventurers, but Fran is a member of the Black Cat tribe, a beast contrived with a nasty reputation. No member of this tribe has ever developed into a more powerful beast, but Fran intends to be the first and fulfill her parents' dreams. Shisho swears to keep her sword until she achieves her aim, resulting in an invincible union of remarkable strength. So, these were the top 10 isekai anime with an overpowered main character who surprises everyone with his powers. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon so that you don't miss any videos like this in the future. Keep sharing your thoughts with us down in the comments. I'll see you in the next one.